Hi friends, it's me Jamin Cordell. So this is the second part of Java FX observable video tutorial. So in the first part, I have explained what is an observable and using observable property in Java real world application, in Java FX real world application. So if you guys haven't watched that video, I seriously suggest you to watch that first because we are using those concepts in the in this part for this observable list. So, all right, let us see what observable list can do. Now, let us talk about observable list. So, let us create an observable list for right now. So, it is observable list of string. So, you can use this observable list just like an array list, except it it does support the observable property. So list and here you can't just use new observable list because observable list is an interface and you can't create instance of that so instead there is an implementation in the fx collection so fx collections dot observable array list. so this will create an observable array list which is perfect for every use case so now we have an observable array list now let us see how we can use this if you check at the list dot size you have this list dot size the interesting thing here is there are two listeners supported for this observable list so that is one is invalidation listener and one is list chain listener so the difference between these two is if you use this list chain listener you will get to see what exactly is changed if you use this invalidation listener you will just a call back that something is happened to this list some of the property of the list was changed i mean something was added or something was removed something like that so here let me create an invalidation listener so let us create an invalidation listener so list dot add listener and whenever this list invalidation listener is called let us say list invalidated so whenever something happened to this list, this should be called the system.out.println. Now let us make use of this list by adding the characters every time. So let us say list.add, then here we can queue this one. So what we are doing is we are just preparing the character and putting into the list so what we are expecting is whenever we add something to the list the list is changing and this invalidated method should be called and we should get this list invalidated message so let us just run the program so as you can see whenever the character changes it is calling or it is printing this invalidated which means Whenever you make some changes to the content of the list, this invalidated method will be called. So that is the use of this observable list. So now we have seen the use of this observable list and let's see how we can use this observable list and how it is useful in the GUI. So let us import a list view. So we have a list view here and not considering about the UI here and just putting it right here then I'm going to give it as list view now I can address that list view here so we have a list view and this question mark is the generic symbol so I'm going to give it as a string now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this list view with this list so whenever we add something into this list it should automatically come into this list view so that is all about the binding right yeah, right so what i'm going to you do is list view dot item property or you can just pass set items so as you can see here it takes an observable list and we have the right observables so what we are now expecting is to this list whenever the character is changed a character will be added so whenever after each second one extra character should come in this list view let's see whether it is happening or not 
so we have b now c is added d is added e is added f like that so now as you have noticed there is an error not on fx applications right so this is happening because we are changing the ui from here to separate thread java fx only allows ui operation in the gui thread so we have to move it to a separate thread so we have platform dot run later option to run this operation in the ui thread itself so i'm going to move these two lines inside this platform dot now there is one more issue it says the variable reference should be effectively final the problem is here if i give final here this issue is solved because now it is final but we can't update the value of ch so let us see how to fix this problem we can simply fix this by removing the ch plus plus and adding a plus one here so we have this thing now now if it was a now it should be b and instead of doing this multiple times we can just give it to string str equals this new string and we can add that to the list as well as we can set the text string with this variable so so far so good no other errors let us just run this program and right now no errors it is coming in this list view so that's it guys that's the end of this video as always thank you for watching this video please subscribe to this channel and use that bell icon to get notification whenever i upload a new video once again thank you very much